What is up everybody? This is going to be Flow State episode 9. I haven't done one of these in a while. If you're unfamiliar, take a look at the playlist. What these are are quicker, shorter videos where we break down some trades, no pausing, no stopping. We just run them through. We're going to look at these three trades in this specific section. Why those three trades? Well, there was nothing going on. There was a lot of chopping. And as you can see, between the hours of 10.34 and 12.21, I had to wait almost two hours for the next setup. So I would say the art of patience was definitely within this session. Obviously, it started off a little sloppy, but we came in very strong uh, at 47.87.50 at the end of the day. But again, only looking at those three trades. So let's jump into it. So we're going to be setting up for the first trade which is a very small win. Uh, as you can see, the market is dipping down at this section. In case you're wondering what these arrows are, that is merely the nicey tick. These are not entries or exits. So I'm gonna be looking to fade it back in. So it will be coming up here in just a moment. Obviously the order flow is slightly slower here. Coming to 35, which is an unnaturally large node, you can see 88, uh, 88.45 has traded here versus 21.83 uh, below. Market's still selling off. Adjusting the advanced decline, ADD, the nice ADD, in case you guys are wondering. Um, then you, this is so far my favorite internal. We got a huge puke right here. First deviation right here, and uh, these arrows represent something I call a gap. So I might have multiple factors of support for a potential fade. Waiting to see what it does here. Getting really good stalling, taking the long, holding it. A lot of big blocks selling. There's a large bid right here that could suck the trade back in. And there you go. We take it out right there for a tick. So let's go ahead and see when the next trade will be. Okay, so we fast forward ever so slightly in the future. You can see this is where we took that one long. Now we are looking to actually take a short as this is pushing further than a the rotation uh, than the rotation I wanted. Uh, so this to me, the low of day is at 2775. So I do believe they're gonna gun down this pivot down here. Waiting, canceling off the order right there. There's a little too much stall. Trying to see if there's some sort of pullback in this section. You can see I'm meticulously clearing the inside columns because this is giving me information within the order flow. Jumping up to the edge of this yellow box right here. Can it stall and pivot? And right there, we're getting a little bit of stall right here. There's a large amount of selling that came in there. There was a 41 lot. If you missed that, go ahead and rewind it. Uh, but that was sort of the sign to go, as well as multiple factors of support. Get a nice puke here. I did think I was going in four lots. Really, I was doubled up on eight. Uh, for me, this is just going to... We're scaling two right in this section. Oops. Uh, we were attempting to... Taking one. Not sure how many lots are off right here. And this is just meant to be a scalp. I decide I'm going to flat the whole trade with the flat key at that point. Nice, nice little momentum scalp right there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next trade. Okay, guys, before we jump into this next trade, the... Dom or the depth of market I'm using is Jigsaw Trading. If you guys are interested in buying it, save $30 with my coupon code and use the affiliate link in the description. Let's go ahead and get back into uh, what's going on here. So I went about six minutes in the future uh, and we're going to be looking at that final uh, short. So let me pull that up real quick. So here we go. We're going to be looking at this uh and here is the final short. So we just watched the $50 trade for the first one, then a, a, a K on that. Now we're going to look at this one, which really has a beautiful M-A-E-M-F-E on it. Only going one tick against me with a 26 tick rip. Actually, all three of these trades look relatively well. Great management on that first one, I would have to say. So here we are. And this is going to now officially be a long trade because of... 
uh, just want to pause it for a second. Notice how it V's out right here. So I'm looking at a V. I'm making sure it doesn't pull back down uh, through this V pattern because um, that's a sign that it, it could fail. We're looking to get at it somewhere right in this section. I believe we actually don't get the fill. Pulling it back just a bit because there seems to be a little bit of too much stall right here. N not quite sure the way it's rolling. I'm very hesitant with it. Um, I believe I might have to chase this trade up uh, ever so slightly because we're not going to get the fill. Uh, watching this section right up here is very critical for me. A lot of buying in that section and that is sort of the sign. Letting it come back if we can and then we're going to go ahead and just sort of... It's not really a FOMO trade because of the setup. Uh, but I know that I may not be able to get it back if, if I don't hit it now because of the way uh, this is setting up. I really do understand this trade uh, really well, this setup. So as you can see, it's running. Uh, getting a little bit of stall here. Um, but she's still got great pressure. We take a little bit off right there real quick. I believe that was half the position, if I'm not mistaken. She's still shooting up at this uh, point in time. And we're going to be in it for about two minutes. Uh, and we're going to let this roll out as... Uh, we're going to let this footage just sort of play. Coming back into the edge of the yellow box. Right here. Uh, hoping that it does hold. Um, probably going to get maybe one test out of it. But based off uh, other contextual cues on this setup... This is, a, this is a really big trade that I know has a lot of potential on uh, the table. We're going to take a little more off right on that edge. Bump the order down one tick because of the way it's stalled. Um, coming in really quick here. Still have a little bit of the position on. She is running very, 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 very quickly. Now, I do believe there will be some problems at 35. Not sure if I'm able to squeeze it to 35. I haven't watched this footage all weekend. So we'll see how this pans out here. Quite a bit of buying on the mid tape you can see right here. Coming really close to that 35. For me, that's we're really squeezing the trade here. Uh, we're going to take one there. And then I believe I have one more left. Let's see if she can get into 35. Just trying to hold this little uh, trade one lot here for a little sugar on top. And then we're going to end up uh, exiting the position right up here if I am not mistaken uh, if we already haven't flatted it let's just kind of watch because yep that is no good a lot of selling there now I may already be out of the position and I believe so uh, it could have came out on a flat key and that was that so I am definitely out of the position within the, the realm of that so I hope you guys enjoyed that flow state episode again if you've not checked out this playlist these are all quick videos uh, just like this and i encourage you guys uh to like subscribe and i will see you in the next episode